Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode. We've made it to the Clearwater Beach Municipal Marina. We've got everything tied up. We've got lots of chores to do. Changing the oil, laundry, filling the tanks, filling the diesel tanks. But so first, many chores. But first we have to eat lunch. First, lunch. Let's go. <laughs> and then we shall find beer <laughs> and Wi-Fi so I can upload some videos for you. Hey there, I'm Matt, Nancy, Olivia, Mocha, and Cadence. And we've learned to call her home over the last year. I mean, recently, we left everything we knew back in Houston and sailed across the Gulf of Mexico in search of cooler weather on a mission to Maine. We don't know if we're gonna make it or not, but we sure hope so. We're glad you made it here to this episode. And if you're new here, we welcome you to smash that subscribe button. We hope you enjoy the show. Right after a string of uh, storms at sea, nasty sea states, and large ocean swells, we were so happy to have relatively calm seas, 10 to 14 knots of breeze, and just nice sunshine, smooth sailing. Of course, couldn't last forever. Storm clouds were on the horizon, and the wind was just sucked out of the sky. So we ended up motoring a little bit into the night until we could catch a little more wind. And then, we were heading towards Clearwater. Mother Nature has been relentless in the Gulf. <laughs> I guess that's why summertime is not the best season to be out here, but uh, we were just entering into Clearwater and um, heavy thunderstorms were the prediction. And it beat us to the port. I mean, literally. Say again? Mother Nature is going to test us one more time. We have uh, about 20 minutes we were going to be in there, and it, we saw it coming down the coast, and it beat us there. So right now we're practicing our storm tactics. No big deal. Three kayakers were stuck out there, and that's Coast Guard helping them. Hope they're okay. There's another uh, sailboat coming into port with us almost, and they decided to run before the storm. Put all their sails away and just went downwind. I chose to leave a little main out and uh, just do a little reaching here. Not a true four reach, but just uh, got the sail out. We're moving about one knot forward into the wind. And it's gotten really cold. So we're going to put our gear on. I need to actually zip it up. Keep it back. So we chose not to race it into storm into port because of the intense amount of lightning that we saw on the shoreline. We are literally one mile offshore, maybe half, half a mile. And, um, we got lucky on that decision. The winds are lighter here. I got 20 knots of wind right in my face. And we're just sitting here waiting it out. Heavy rain. Initially, they were 30 knot gusts. Here comes a gust. Here comes a gust. motoring into the wind, nice and slow. If the gust gets up to 30 plus and we can't control the boat, then I'll turn it around and we'll just run before the storm. Just go with it. Okay, so we're getting lightning out here as well. I checked the charts. We're actually three miles offshore now. 
So we're gonna start inching back towards land. It is lighter over there. So I think the bulk of the storm is towards our destination going downwind. And we're gonna start heading downwind. Hopefully we're trailing in behind it. Land ho! <laughs> so this is actually the end of our golf trip. I don't know if it'll be in that episode or not, but I think this is the ending. Tropical storm Claudette, <laughs> daily thunderstorm. Um, we called off the final leg of the trip after Claudette because unpredicted swells came in. It's been a good trial, hasn't it been? It's been crazy. I didn't know it was going to be this rough. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think the rest of the trip will be this way. <laughs> I don't know. Mission to Maine, baby. I don't know where we're gonna be. Maybe just to uh, Georgia. Maybe just to Georgia. I'm ready. I'm so hungry. Food or beer? Which first? It doesn't matter. Either either orders first. <laughs> Ice cream or beer? Which is first? Ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's get it. I don't know. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're at the Marina Cantina. A little bit of Mexican food and um, thank you. And we're gonna eat up here and I think we're going after this to the brewery. This is a great place. It's got a pub upstairs. Good view of the marina. And the food's good. I don't know what else to say. I have huevos, huevos, huevos rancheros. Papas. She has a strawberry coconut French toast. And burger and fries. I'll give you a review here. Let's see. There's also, a, what's there, a pizza here at the marina. A little corner store. All right, here we go. Lovely. Beans, salsa, cheese, eggs, avocado. No papas fritas. Mm. Empty coffee. That was really good food. Did you like it? It's delicious. It was really good. It's a yummy burger. I was in the restaurant thinking, yeah, the food was so good. I was in the restaurant thinking, it's so busy. And, um, wait, we gotta find a sidewalk. All the noise and everything, we've been out in nature, on the ocean, out on our own for like two weeks now. <laughs> Apart from our, our crew lunch the other night. And uh, I was thinking, this is stressful. I felt all this pressure, just all the noise and activity. It was very stressful. Did you feel it? Yes, I did. Nancy asked, she goes, you know, this is kind of, what'd you say? This isn't a place I'd want to live for forever. It's just too chaotic. It was very chaotic and busy, so we're gonna go find a pedestrian walkway without getting run over here. And uh, it was very busy. Not the same as being out in the ocean. Of course, there's no thunderstorms in there. I get you have that. This is true. There's no tornadoes to worry about or water spouts, so. 
Anyway, <laughs> that's a big aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's beer 30. Beer 30. <laughs> and Nintendo time. Yeah, we're playing Monopoly. What time is it? Laundry time. Do, 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 <laughs> so we've played, we've we've uh, had a little beer, had a little food. We played too long, I think. <laughs> a couple of emails done on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> and now it's time for the laundry. And before bed, it'll be cookie time. Cookie time? How about cookie? What else do we have today? We have laundry. We're going to fill the water tanks and uh, rearrange the salon. We can rearrange the salon tonight. Forward. Tomorrow I will change. You got it. Cool. I have diesel duty. And it will change tomorrow. Tonight we will rearrange the salon and set it up for a more open living space since we're not doing a whole lot of offshore. After this, it'll just be day trips, one to two nights max. Who has the key? You do. Oh, you oh. problem on the boat. Our boat doesn't have a washing machine and we don't have a water maker right now. We're going to pick that up when we get around to the other side of Florida. So we're having to find laundry facilities right now to actually do the laundry. We, um, we're sure there's got to be an alternative. So if you have any ideas, leave it in the comments below. Well, I was trying to do the camera and then I had to take an Uber ride um, that was about maybe 10 minutes, not quite, um, to the grocery store. It's two stories, so when you go in, you have to ride the elevator up. It felt like a super fancy grocery store. The prices were a little bit pricey, more so than like Kroger in Texas. Um, more like a Randall's in Texas, something like that. That's how the prices were. But anyway, we got our groceries. The lady was so kind to help me get them over here to the bench. And so then I called Olivia and we're going to go ahead and take them back and get them all put away and start the next leg of the journey. All right, groceries coming in. <laughs> now it's time for uh, diesel. How was the uh, city? Uh, it was really pretty. That was the prettiest grocery store I've ever been in. Oh, did you get any video of it? No, I told him I forgot to take you along. Aww. I was in a hurry. Good morning. I went to the store without you and now I'm in trouble because Matt said you were supposed to take them along. Help All right, what do we have done? We've done our provisioning, cleaned the cockpit, refueled, reorganized the reorganized furniture, the salon. We put the new table, the different table down, makes it more open, better for life on anchor. And um, <clears throat> I'm sure there's other things, but now it's time for oil change. Back at Waterford, there's a free table, and anything on the free table you can take, or you can put things there. Put a lot of good things there, huh? Yes, we have. Well, I found this oil pump there. If you remember, a while back, we did an oil change with a hand pump. Not a good idea. It worked, but it worked slowly. So, this should speed up the process. As long as it works properly. <laughs> ah, that was the next thing I was going to say. We got it from the free table. 
So it may not even work. We're about to find out. <laughs> it's not a promising sound. Mm -mm. But maybe 20 pumps later it'll... That'll offer some resistance, I believe. Yeah, so it didn't work. The uh, oil change didn't work. Oil change, Bill. I think the old pump is not working. But we're heading out. Uh, we're leaving Clearwater. These afternoon thunderstorms have been vicious, so we're not gonna sail this afternoon. We're gonna call it these things start to clear. We're gonna go down through <clears throat> the ICW, the bays right through here. It should be pretty. We get to see some of Florida. And um, it's just a four hour little trip. Four hours, we're gonna be at Gulfport, which is by St. Petersburg, Tampa. Tampa? This is Tampa. I don't know. Oh, jeez. St. Petersburg. <laughs> Gulfport and uh, there there's a West Marine we can pick up a new oil pump make that happen there's a Best Buy we can pick up a new GoPro do they know why we have to pick up a new GoPro uh, I don't know a few episodes ago back in Pensacola the GoPro fell into the water it wasn't attached to the, the mount I went to go jump in there it goes also with most of our tropical storm footage. So I think we might have shared that a few episodes ago, but. It was my fault, I'm sorry. So, and this GoPro that we're filming on right now uh, has taken a fall before, so I don't know if it's waterproof anymore. We need to buy another one so we can get some underwater shots. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're heading, four hours. Maneuvering in a tight space. Had to sit here while these two big fishing boats came in.